everybody, welcome back to Non-Stop Sense channel. Now is the end of another academic year. That means not only exams for senior students, but also time to do more smart work than hard work. In this session, my mom will provide quick pointers on important areas to get there. Thank you. Let's get started right away. The first and foremost is having a quick workable schedule. While the schedule before exams commenced will be different, schedule during exam time has to be completely hours based. Better to avoid new topics to learn at this time. We need to cover more of heavyweight topics, easily achievable topics with less time, going through past exam papers, doing a recap of topics already learned, etc. If necessary and possible, we can allot common tough topics among study group members and make one person present important areas or share notes to others so that there is some time saved here for all. In the schedule, better to sequence the mandatory items first and optional items at the end. Particularly clarifying doubts should never be pushed to the last. We can have cushion for spillover in the schedule. We should also include our pastime, break time, daily routines in the schedule. If sequence of learning changes or any items not complete as scheduled, better to quickly rework on the schedule. We can ask a friend or a family member to quickly review and track the schedule so that we don't end up being self-excusing all the time when we slip. Also, pasting the latest schedule in front of our eyes helps. Now comes learning techniques. We can try repetition of lessons as a loud reading or a speed reading in different intervals instead of finishing at one go at the start and finally forgetting at the end. We can try storyboarding of important subtopics or form some mnemonics with connected associations. We can form bullets of subtopics or make pictorial representation of our learning like flowcharts, diagrams, graphs, tables which we can keep going through in intervals. We can write down important formulae, definitions, theories separately and keep having a quick look at them in intervals too. We can ask another person to quiz or test us quickly. We can record our own voice or ask someone to record their voice of reading the lessons and we can hear it out in intervals. We should revisit classroom notes, our own notes that we prepared during study holidays before the commencement of exam notes of others or toppers if shareable. We should always select the right learning materials which talk about only the necessary things in the simplest form. We should definitely go through earlier exam questions. Recently the board has come up with a good initiative of sharing the toppers answer sheets to get a view of their presentations. Now time for non-learning tasks or in other words essential break time. Intermittent physical and mental breaks are necessary during study time to re-energize one to continue studying. Studying without breaks will do more harm than good. It literally tires the mind and makes one even unlearn what is learned. Here we can classify breaks as short and normal breaks. Every student needs to essentially have a short break soon after one hour of study at the max. Short breaks are like a quick phone call, stretching exercises, a quick healthy snack, hearing a favorite song, solving a puzzle, etc. And every student needs to have a normal break in the schedule, which is say post couple of hours of study. They could be something like a power nap, a quick scalp massage, pursuing any passionate extracurricular activities or hobbies without physically and mentally draining as much. Taking a quick brisk walk to a nearby place or temple, reading a blog or watching a blog on favorite topics, checking social media for a judicious purpose and we literally mean for a purpose that serves the present exam phase. If there is real paucity of time, all the addictive breaks like internet, social media should be completely avoided. Everything else can wait and stay for a little more while than now. We should take a 30 second or a minute break to do some stretching exercises even while writing exams whenever we finish some logical groups of our answers. Now that we saw scheduling, learning techniques, 
taking breaks let's see sleep our rem rapid eye movement starts as early as around 3 am or so the boarding time for brain as per our body design and we need strong cognitive abilities during exam time for a grown up human being to function cognitively well we need a minimum of 6 hours of sleep sleep is a time when brain starts storing the assimilated information in long term memory now keeping these factors in mind 6 hours of sleep particularly during the first half of the night is a real must if we need to reap complete benefits of all the efforts of studying the best time to learn is when the brain and sun boot that is early morning and for one to reap that benefit one needs to go to bed early enough to get adequate 6 hours of sleep and on the other hand oversleeping in the morning time will also make one lazy throughout the day reducing our potential bright time to study now the day has arrived and we are ready to face the exams we can focus on well known ones and relatively known sections first sequence of answering doesn't have to be in the exact order of the question paper however it is important to mention the right section and question number if we go off sequence we should focus only as much as needed for the marks not more than that we should use as much flow charts diagrams bullet pointers tables graphs as possible to explain answers rather than getting plainly verbose we can underline important areas to catch the attention of the examiner if there are options let's look for quick wins we should choose the one that's not only well known but also one that consumes less time and energy say for example a precise comparative chart as an answer versus theoretical question a problem solving question versus a long verbal answer etc we should allot more initial time on answers that need more time and energy to fetch marks and the last minute rushing answers could be things that are way too easy to handle even if we need to scribble at the end spending time on the present question makes more sense than wasting time on the entire question paper trying to assess how easy or tough the overall paper is let's never ever assess or discuss the performance of the past exams as that effort will never save serve any positive purpose but at the same time let's never ever ignore the lessons learned from the past exams okay what about the food there are immunity boosting food brain food memory food healthy food which are all talked about everywhere and most of us are becoming more aware than before so let's take advantage of this area so that it comes to our aid for the mission that we are on adequate hydration is a must as it helps brain to function better no skipping meals no eating in haste no fried food no processed food no or limited caffeine nothing that brings the power of brain down at this point of time let's keep sipping water during exam time as well in intervals okay what about parents or other people who can support us it's prudential to capitalize all the support around us for a positive cause as long as they are willingly available we can ask them to take care of tracking our schedule taking care of our food managing social or family expectations of us on our behalf exam menus can be explored well in advance some can help in recording voice notes of some lessons that could be easily handled this way and the last emotional support to keep us going if not anything else now the last but not the least our positive attitude towards our own selves exams and grades will help a long way comparison anxiety fear jealousy pride ego none of these negative feelings will work in our favor they cause more damage in the cognitive function which is supposed to be stronger during this time if we get good grades this may be the plan charted for us well and good if no good grades or top up positions as we expected then we have better things lined up in future and our cup of tea hasn't arrived yet we may be a great orator singer dancer a sports person an artist whatever 
everything has its own value in the real life scenario and there are multiple ways to lead life successfully and peacefully grades are not the start and end though it provides a time tested route so we need to figure out if we need to just scrape through to get going or get decent scores or if we aim for one of the top positions the clarity of mind considering a holistic perspective will assist more in performing better in exams not all the exam tips discussed everywhere are applicable to all the students one needs to do a quick mix and match of the best applicable ones to them but what's commonly applicable and agreeable to all is everyone needs a clear and calm mind to ensure that we do our best and leave the rest to the almighty is that not so wish you all the best of luck for the best possible outcome hope you found the video useful we'll meet you with another interesting topic in our next video in the meantime if you have anything to add or comment related to this subject please do so in the comment column will feature interesting and useful comments in our future uploads have a great day and have a great life this is akshit and his mom signing off thank you bye bye